Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the Texas Star Math Test for 7th graders. The concept is rational numbers. This is part one. Remember 7th graders, if you can dream it, you can do it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can get alerted for all new videos we upload. The problems we will be going over in this video are in our seventh grade math review workbook. It is available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Let's review rational numbers. So rational numbers can be written as A over B or as a fraction where A and B are integers and B does not equal to zero. There can be decimals, fractions, mixed numbers, and integers. Those are all rational numbers. And if you look at our Venn diagram, you can see that the first inner circle is natural numbers, then whole numbers, integers, and then it encapsulates all of the rational numbers. Let's look at some examples of rational numbers. So rational numbers are integers and numbers that can be written as a fraction. Some examples are the whole number eight because eight can be written as eight over one. And that's with any whole number. If you see a whole number, when you convert it into a fraction, all it is is that number in the numerator over one in the denominator. Okay. Next we have the square root of nine and that is equal to three. And again, three can be written as a fraction as three over one. Again, that whole number is in the numerator and the one is in the denominator. Our decimal 29 thousandths or 0 0.029, that can be converted into a fraction as well. And that is equal to 29 over 1,000. 1 1.5 or 1 and 5 tenths can be converted into a fraction, which is 3 over 2. So again, rational numbers are integers and numbers that can be written as a ratio or as a fraction. That's where that A over B comes from. It has repeating and also terminating decimals are considered rational numbers. Now let's look at integers. These are whole numbers or the opposites of those whole numbers. So in our example, we have eight again, because that's a positive number, negative 72, 12, negative 56, 81, 34, negative 53. All are whole numbers that can be positive or negative numbers. Now let's take a look at whole numbers. These are integers that are positive, including zero. So we have for our example, zero, 51, two, 95, 120, and 13. Again, all of these are whole numbers or integers that are positive. You see no negative numbers for whole numbers. And lastly, for natural numbers, they are counting or pos counting numbers or positive integers excluding zero. So they're counting numbers, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to infinity. So for our examples, we have eight, 51, two, 95, 120, and 13. Now, if you notice between the examples we have for the whole numbers and the natural numbers, the only difference is we did not add that zero because natural numbers exclude zero. Now let's dive into our first problem. It says, which diagram best represents the relationship among integers, rational numbers, and whole numbers? Is it A, where there's a large circle, and that's rational numbers, and then within that circle, it is integers and whole numbers? Or is it B, where there's a large circle, and that circle is whole numbers, and within that circle is integers and rational numbers? Is it C, where there's a large circle that's whole numbers, then within whole numbers is rational numbers, and within rational numbers is integers, or D, 
in our we have a large circle it's rational numbers then within rational numbers we have integers and within integers we have whole numbers whenever we're solving a problem the first thing we need to ask ourselves is what are we looking for very important question most important question because it will help us to know how we solve the problem. We are looking for the diagram that be best represents the relationship between integers, rational numbers, and whole numbers. Our second most important question is, what information can help find the answer? Well, we went over that in our example and what we the information that can help us find the answer is the diagram that you, that is used to identify the differences and the similarities between two or more sets, okay? So, in us looking and we did give an example of the Venn diagram and let's just take a little sneak peek again. Let's look at it where it shows the relationship between rational numbers, integers, and also whole numbers. And that's what we have to keep in mind. So if you need to kind of just have an idea of and the relationship between the different sets of numbers, go ahead and write it down on your handy dandy work uh, worksheet, your handy dandy worksheet so that you will be able to remember in solving the problem okay so how do we solve this problem well again we need to look at the venn diagram and what we're going to do is compare it to the answer choices so that we can discover what the right answer is okay is it a is it b is it C or is it D? Now, one of the things that I will say is, even though our answer choices are in circle and ovals and are what we're using to compare it to is in squares and rectangles, that doesn't matter. What matters is how the different, how the different sets of numbers are listed and placed in our Venn diagram. So what is the correct answer? If you said D, you are absolutely correct. So when the diagram that best represents the relationship between integers, rational numbers, and whole numbers, well, the whole numbers was the innermost circle, then we had integers, and then the larger circle that encapsulates everything is rational numbers. Very good. Let's move to question number two. So for question number two, it says, which Venn diagram best represents the relationship among integers, natural numbers, rational numbers, and whole numbers? So let's look at F it has in the center circle, natural numbers, then whole numbers expands out to whole numbers, then rational numbers and then integers. G starts in the inner circle, whole numbers, then it's rational numbers, integers, and natural numbers going all the way up and going outside. H, it starts with the smallest circle is whole numbers, then it's in within natural numbers is whole numbers, within integers is natural numbers and whole numbers, and then within rational numbers is integers, then natural numbers, then whole numbers. Now let's look at J. It has um, natural numbers in the inner circle, then we expand out to whole numbers, we expand out again to integers, and then rational numbers. So what's our most important question? What are we looking for? We are looking for the diagram that best represents the relationship between integers, national, natural numbers, rational numbers, and whole numbers. So what information do we need in order to find the answer? The information that we need, again, is our Venn diagram that shows us the relationships between the sets of integers, natural numbers, rational numbers, and whole numbers. And here it is. 
we see again what the inner circle is and we expand out for each level this is what will the information that we need to help us find the answer so how do we solve the problem again great question the way we solve the problem is we are going to look at our venn diagram and compare it to our answer choices to see which one of those answer choices correctly represent our venn diagram that is how we solve the problem so in doing that let's take a few seconds to compare so that we can discover what the correct answer is is it f g h or j if you said j you're absolutely correct the Venn diagram that best represents the relationships among integers, natural numbers, rational numbers, and whole numbers is where on the, the inner circle, it's natural numbers, it expands out to whole numbers, then we have integers, and lastly, the larger circle is rational numbers because all of these sets are part of rational numbers and that is it for part one of us reviewing rational numbers don't forget you can grab your seventh grade star math review workbook in the link in, in our store <laughs> the link will be in the description box this is shay jackson i'll talk to you later